Hi everyone, this is John and welcome back to Topo Talk. In the last session, we took a look at this OBJ file, or it was an OBJ file before we imported it into Blender, and we cleaned up this area here. Now, if you'd like to follow along in this session, you can download topotalk09.blend. You'll find a link in the description. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this area down here. Completely ignored this in the last session. And as you can see, taken a few loops down through here. They haven't been terminated. There's one there. This side is, is OK. There are a couple of loops coming down through here, but we can ignore those for now. So what we're going to do is think of a strategy to clean this up. Now, what might happen is that we'll need to change the geometry here. I know we've added these loops here, but they have to be terminated somewhere. And that may or may not work with the topology that we're going to create down here. So let's just see how it goes and see whether we can clean this up and also find a, a good solution for here as well. Okay, so we'll start down here. I think what I'll do first is just sort of even out this area here. And I think that'll be a good base for cleaning up this bit here. So let's see. I may just take the knife tool and just bring this down and just join that one up there and just get rid of these like that. And let's see, maybe carry this one through to here. And dissolve this one. So just going through and clean this up, you might have a different way of doing the same thing. I think this one could probably come straight through here like this. And I'll just continue that along there like that. So now we can take this. Excuse my voice, I've had a cold all week. So getting a little neater there. We can probably, while we're at it, just alt click on this. Now where is this one going? It's going all the way around to here. So that's a that's a good loop. But we need to terminate that as well. So let's just dissolve that and we'll take this through here because this is going to be a corner. So we'll take that one through there like that. And We'll grab this one and bring this one down like that. Okay, so now we can take that and that. Dissolve those. And we can probably just take this one in vertex mode, ML. And that's actually all we need to do for that little section down there. Let's take that and that, ML. We can probably grab the knife tool again and just bring this one down to here. Edge mode to solve that. We'll probably get rid of that one. Now, grab that one. GG, just bring that up a bit. There you go. And we're going to have to bring a cut through there as well. Now we've got quads all the way through there. Okay. It's an extra vert there. I'm just going to ML that one, get rid of that. So we've got this loop coming down through here. And we've got two loops through here. That's going to be a problem for us. We could do something similar to what I showed you last week, which is just to merge these like that. And same here. Okay. 
and then just cut in that edge and, and make that little looping strategy there. Like that. And didn't have to do it, you know, down here. I could have done that up here. And that will mean we've only got to get this loop down through here, which is what we need. So that's actually a pretty good compromise there. So we'll press Control R and we will put a loop in here, hit E, then F to flip, and then just bring that around like that. That's gone all the way around there. That's okay. We'll clean that up in a sec. Let's just select these two and J to join. Mm-hmm. It looks quite nice through there. Nice and clean, looking great. We haven't had to go and change this geometry at all. Okay, so let's have a look down here. Maybe we just need to straighten this up a bit. I'm just going to do that using the knife. Grab these. Now, we have that. But what we can do is just take that out, control X, and grab that one, control X, because that's the one we just added in. We don't need that. And check this out. What we can do is just take the knife tool and just cut that in there like that. So that gives us, if it's going to do it for me. Okay, try that again. There we go. Take that. Now I am getting a bit of clipping here, so it's starting to get a little bit annoying. Let's just go into the view and just change this. There we go. So if it's happening to you, just change your clip start. So now that is a triangle there, but that's fine. You can leave that triangle sitting there on that flat face. You often do have to use triangles with these kinds of things. That's fine. Let's grab this vert here. You can see the difference. It looks so much better now. And look at that. Look at the result. That is beautiful. Nice and clean. Maybe I'd like to bring this down a little bit. Like that. Just had Blender quit out on me, but luckily my autosave brought me right back to where we were, which is great. So I think what we just did was just slid that down a little bit. I'm just going to grab this one as well. Like that. And that's looking really nice. Very good, nice and clean. Now, just looking at this under subdivision, topology doesn't look quite right. There's actually an N gone in there. Impossible to see when it's not under subdivision, but what's happened is that we've got two verts on top of each other that haven't been merged. And if we just slide that out, you can see they're not merged together. So it's going to select both and hit ML. And now that looks correct. So yeah, there is a triangle there, but that's fine. I think that's a pretty nice solution. Okay, so hopefully you found that useful. If you have any questions, just leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next Topo Talk.